Hey guys, it's Kyle of Death here, and um, I've noticed that a lot of you are having questions about what is Nintendo WFC, um, how can I connect to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, why am I getting this error saying must connect to Nintendo WFC, so on and so forth. That's not the exact error, but a lot of you are having this problems, and um, it's because I think a lot of you are new to not necessarily black and white, but just trading in general through the Wi-Fi connection. So first off, Nintendo WFC stands for Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. If that wasn't obvious, um, that's fine, and uh, that's what it actually stands for. So here in front of me, I have both of my DSi XLs, one's I guess called DSi LL because it's in Japanese. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Nintendo Wi-Fi connection through the Japanese and the English DSIs. So, um, I don't exactly know how the setup is on the DS. I actually have an old one. I might make another video on a normal DS later, but uh, it should probably be easy to find. So, let's get started. So, first off, I'm probably going to click on the Japanese one first, and then, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Here's the main menu. You see wireless communications and brightness settings, which is exactly, you know, corresponding in Japanese. So we don't need that. We're going to the next one. This page two. Here's page three. Okay. So now I'm going to go to page three. And uh, I don't remember if it's internet. No. Yes. Okay. So on page three of your DSi or something on your DS go to internet okay so now you, at the top you see connection settings which if you're using a Japanese DSI it'll be this button right here so what you will do is if you haven't set up your Wi-Fi connection and I'm actually just going to show you guys the English one for a minute you will see connection one will say none but in my case it says set up complete so um, if yours says none click on it and search for an access point. Now I'm going to do that in just a second. So I'm going to click over here on my Japanese one. So this one's already set up so I'm actually going to delete the stored data and I'll press the yes button. Okay so this is what it looks like on a Japanese DS or DSi. Um, if it's not set up it's the top one right there. So you click on that and this is search for an access point right here. It's what we're going to use. So. First off, they're both searching for an access point and they found the Netgear router, which in this case is my router. And this is saying, do you want to begin a connection test? I think, yeah. Do you want to save these settings? So, OK and OK. So this is where it wants to begin a connection test. You press OK and OK. This is going to be doing the exact same thing just in two different languages here so testing the connections and as you can see it's got bars of Wi-Fi this has bars of Wi-Fi so it's testing the connections still so test successful and it gives you 61212 as the safety code is what it's called so that's good Okay, another thing that you want to make sure, especially, this is something I learned from the Japanese DSi, because I totally forgot, was you want to go to this, which is the user agreement. So I'll show you that on the English one too. So it's saying you must accept the user agreement, the user agreement in order to use Nintendo DSi network services. So is this okay? Yes. Is this okay? Yes. This is um, a mistake that's easily made whenever trying to connect. So select language. So English, and then you press the A button. I think, oh, sorry. <laughs> you press the next button, and here's the user agreement. So scroll down, press next. I accept, and then press OK. So on this, it's a bunch of Japanese, which is pretty much the same exact agreement. Scroll down. Press yes, and then this is the language, which if you don't know Japanese, you probably are going to be watching this video as well, so just press OK, and you're good to go. 
So what you do is actually go back to the main DSI menu. And then you can start your game. Alright, so in my next video what I'm actually going to do is um, all other people that will be watching this how-to video don't know how to find their FC, what FC stands for, um, how to register other users, and how to connect to trade with others. So that will be in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this video helped. Um, I know not everyone has a Japanese DSI, but I just did it just in case, so I figured knock out two birds with one stone. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, this is Kettle of Death. Feel free to leave comments, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe for more videos, or if you dislike this video, and you know, there's going to be much more like it. My channel has giveaways and a bunch of random videos, and pretty soon I might actually do product reviews, so on and so forth. So I'm out. Check out my next video if you want to learn how to find your FC, register others, and um, actually connect to trade with them. So thank you for watching, and I'm out.